Hi, this video is to raise mental health awareness. This is a very important topic that many struggle with in the world. Hopefully after watching my video, this will help others that struggle with their mental health. Today I want to talk about why mental health is important. years it was taboo to discuss the status of someone's mental health people would be depressed but it would not be spoken of now in 2019 with celebrities athletes actors actresses singers songwriters all coming forward with their mental health struggles this is bringing light to such an important subject you can have fame you can have fortune but when your mental health is failing Nothing is worth having without having a sound mind. So many people today are struggling with anxiety. With anxiety comes panic attacks. I want to give you some information to help when you are having a panic attack. Sometimes these attacks can mimic a heart attack. You can have heart palpitations, sweaty palms, feel like you can't move, feel like your chest is caving in. One thing that you can do is deep breathing. You're going to breathe in and then out. In and then out. Try to do this four to five times until you feel yourself calming down. This can definitely help you. Also, I'm a big user of essential oils. I sell doTERRA essential oils. This one is a peppermint. It's very good for calming down your anxiety. The thing to do would be to take the oil. You just want to take a drop, place it on your wrist, both, both wrists. Take another drop behind the ear. You can even put a little bit on your chest. Then you want to put a drop in the palm of your hand. Rub it together. And again, do the breathing in. And out. And out. Again, this truly helps. Recently, I had a friend at dinner and she began to have a panic attack. The other friend that I was with began to panic. And I pulled out my peppermint oil. I did just what I showed you. And within three to four minutes, she was back calm. So try to relax when you have a panic attack. Begin to think like this too shall pass. And there is nothing wrong with me. And try to calm yourself down and ground yourself. Along with anxiety... Depression is another big one, and this is huge. Depression can lead to suicide. It can lead to loss of appetite. It can lead to isolation. It can lead to so many negative things. Please get help when you do experience depression. Contact your EAP provider. This is through your employer. Get the help of a therapist, psychologist, psychiatrist, counselor, school counselor if you are at school surround yourself with support and I always want to give out the um, suicide prevention number which is 1-800-SUICIDE or 1-800-273-8255 also with depression you can get involved in support groups if you're struggling with alcoholism or drug use drug use you want to go to AA for the alcoholism and for um, the drug, the substance abuse is ENA. So always get support for any of these things. Do not be ashamed. It is not taboo. If you are a male, do not feel embarrassed. Get the help you need. And I do want to compliment the men that come and see me. And they always come and they're questioning being there or like, um, I'm kind of embarrassed. They'll say, or oh, this is hard. And I always encourage them that they are brave for coming 
and getting the support, regardless of your gender and age. So I just want to encourage anyone that's struggling with mental health, do not be ashamed, but be sure to get the support you need. I am Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. Be sure to hit subscribe and hit like. Hit the bell so you can keep up with my other videos. Drop me some comments. What else would you like to hear about? And my question of the day is, have you ever struggled with any form of mental health? If you have, what was it? Or do you know someone who struggled? And were you able to help them or offer them guidance? Again, thank you for watching and take care of yourself.